I'm not doing that. I am just not doing that. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to talk to you about Hermes. Hermes. Probably not saying it right and all the purists are going to be angry, but it's such a hot topic because the way they do things is nuts and it's crazy to me. And the reason that it's in my mind and the reason that I am going to talk to you about it is I've been talking to Deb from Wild Unfiltered about Hermes quite a bit recently because she has had a significant Hermes journey. She has some fabulous bags. She's Birkins, she's Kelly's. I will link her channel down below. She's great information about Hermes. She's a great collection to show you. But she recently put out a video on why her Hermes journey is over and why she's no longer going to be chasing those bags and I find it really really interesting. Now personally I have never had the Hermes journey that she has had. I have never had a love affair with Hermes that has spanned years and has led me to have a number of Birkins and Kellys that came from the store. I do have a Birkin. This is a Birkin 25 in Rose Papri with Palladium hardware. It's one of my favourite bags. I love it. But I went through a reseller to buy it. And the reason I went through a reseller to buy it is because I'm not a fan of the Hermes game. I am not a fan of having to go and buy things that I don't particularly want to try and build up a relationship or to build up a profile in the hope that I may get the bag that I want or close to it or specifics that are kind of like it. And I might get a colour that's close, but it's all really in the hands of the Hermes gods. And it's not that you can walk in and say, I want this. I want a Birkin 25 in Rose Papri, in Palladium Hardware, in Togo Leather, and I don't want anything else, please. And I would like it in the next calendar year. No, doesn't work like that. And when Deb was talking about this, about how she's no longer going to be on her Hermes journey because she thinks it's over. She doesn't think that there will be another bag. It kind of made me think about my own bag buying history from the boutique, which is zero, non-existent. Now I do have things from the boutique that I love. I have a blanket, which I very love. It's in my office out there and it's staying. I have the pillow that matches it. I have click clack bracelets and I know they're classed as fashion jewelry and they're probably not the high level of the Hermes buying experience, but I have those and leather bracelets and I really, really like them. I also really like the H cuff for your ear. I haven't been able to get one. They've always been sold out, but I really like those. Do I have other things? I probably have a few other bits and pieces from Hermes. I do. I have a plate out there that sits in my office as well, which I really like because there's a tiger on it. And if we know about my, here it is, my Dior, mini lady Dior with tiger on the back. I really like tigers. So I really like the plate and it's out there and I love it. But I have had on my wish list for Dior. Now they brought in the wish list system and what they said, in the UK anyway, was that it would no longer be about who you know or if you know a sales assistant or how much you spend. The wish list system was meant to make Hermes more accessible to more people. So more people could get the benefit of trying their bags without having to go down the route of spending small fortunes to be able to get one of their bags. This was to allow more people. That's what the sales assistant told me in Dublin. It was for more people to be able to access the bag. Now, I do think that's working. There are videos on YouTube where that is definitely working. When Cassie Thorpe was still living in London, she put down her wish list and she got her green Birkin in this color. And I think she didn't have a huge buying history before that. So I think it is definitely working and there's definitely stories of it working. But if you're after, one of the very, very, very popular hard to get bags. I'm not so sure that it's going to work that way. I had <laughs> calls to reflect on my own wish list when I was talking to Deb and I have had three wish lists. They used to be nine months in the UK. They're now a year and in Ireland. I've had three wish lists for a mini Kelly. The third of those expires in January. That's basically three years worth of a wish list for a mini Kelly. It's not happening <laughs> and it's not happening anytime soon. My sales associate has basically told me it's not happening. I think if you want to 
have a mini Kelly. Now there are obviously exceptions to this. You're going to see videos on YouTube with people saying that they were able to get a mini Kelly without a huge buying history. They just had a great relationship with the store, great relationship with their sales assistant. And one of the things that I do think that helps is if you live somewhere that you can call in frequently. So if you live close to a boutique and you can call in weekly or monthly to engage with your essay, even if you're not buying anything, but you can keep repeatedly calling in, I do think that helps. It will help you build a relationship, it will help you build a bond, and it will definitely help that sales associate be more inclined to try and help you, to try and get you that bag. I live about two and a half hours from the closest Hermes boutique and the closest Hermes boutique is very, very small. So there is not a huge amount that even things that I want to buy and actively want to buy. I've wanted a Kelly belt for I don't even know how long, but I can't get one because they're never in store. So if you're close and you call in, I do think that will help. But I definitely think that if you're after a bag like a mini Kelly, it's going to be very, very difficult. And it's going to be one of those bags that you may never get on the wishlist system. And it made me think about, am I even on an Hermes journey? No, not, I'm not. I'm not trying to secure that bag, if that makes sense. Yes, I've put a wish list in, but I'm not making effort to repeatedly go to the boutique. I'm not making effort to repeatedly talk to my essay. I'm not buying lots of other bits and pieces to bring me to my essay's attention or to remind my essay of myself and what I'm looking for. I'm not doing it. And when I was talking to Deb about it, the realization hit me that you've kind of just given up on that. You've given up on having a mini Kelly, trying to get the mini Kelly, trying to build that kind of rapport with the store because it's far away. There's not a huge amount of things I want to buy. The things I do want to buy, I can't buy because they never have them in store. And I've just decided I'm not going to torture myself about it. I'm not going to torture myself about trying to get the elusive Mini Kelly in the boutique when I don't think there's very much chance of it happening. So why am I going to spend my time repeatedly going to the boutique, calling in to try and buy things that are never there to buy? Yes, if I go in, and the essay I have in Dublin, by the way, is, is lovely, really, really lovely person. If I go in and they have one of the things that I'm looking for, absolutely, I'm going to go and I'm going to buy it. But I'm not going to torture myself about trying to be on this journey. I'm definitely not on the journey. But I'm not even going to torture myself about trying to get this bag because it's so unlikely to happen. And when it comes to the resale route, yes, I know, I know, spent a lot of money on this. But a girl has her limits. <laughs> a girl has her limits. To buy a mini Kelly on the resale market are up and around and over £20,000 sterling. I have seen certain colour combinations of a mini Kelly at £25,000 sterling, up to £30,000 sterling. I'm not doing that. I am just not doing that. I do not have the ability to do that, that I can do that and sleep in my bed at night no matter what mask I'm using and I love my sleep masks, it helps me sleep, but I, I'm not doing that because that is just too much money. So the thought of trying to find a reseller to try and find a mini Kelly, which is, reminds me a little bit like the mini Cappy scenes, there's one there, kind of like that, but I do think it's a very cool bag. I would really like one. I think it's a bag that I would love. I think it's a bag that I would rock. I'm not spending that sort of money on it. So I'm giving up. I'm not spending that sort of money on the resale market. I'm not even considering it. That's out of my mind. And thinking and hoping that there might be one coming from the boutique, I'm kind of just giving up on that because it's been three years now. <laughs> it's like it's like that abusive ex, isn't it? Or it's like that person that you're interested in and they're just not interested in you, but you just won't give up. And you keep liking their posts and their stories and you keep trying to chat to them and you keep trying to catch their eye. Take the hint, woman, take the hint. It's been three years and it's not coming and it's not happening. And I think you just need to give up on that. I think you need to let them go. Let them go and find their peace with somebody else. Should I do another wish list? I probably will when I'm in Dublin. I might change it to a Constance 18. And I know they're not, strictly speaking, a quota bag, but I might change it to that because I like those bags and I think there's a better chance that that might be attainable. I think I have to just accept that the Mini Kelly, without me having a big buying history, without me calling into the store all the time, without me spending lots of money on different things, 
it's just not going to happen and I don't want to torture my brain anymore about the potential of it. I don't think Paris also, I know you can go to Paris and watch Dale and Meredith's videos on this and you can get an appointment and you can get a bag. I think the chances of getting a mini Kelly through the Paris lottery appointment scheme is very, very small. I do think there's a better chance maybe of getting a Birkin or a Kelly, a bigger Kelly. I think the mini Kelly though is going to be very difficult to get that way. I don't think they're going to have a huge amount of them just sitting readily available. So to give myself inner peace <laughs> and to reflect on my spending and buying habits and all of the things we've talked about this year, I have decided to basically give myself a break and to stop thinking about the mini Kelly and just kind of give up on it and give up on the thought of having any type of Hermes journey because we're not really doing that and just set myself free from, <laughs> I know, it's a bit dramatic, but set myself free from the thoughts of being able to get a mini Kelly from the boutique and not really even putting any energy or time into that anymore. And this was kind of a bit of a chit chat video and it did come from Deb, so I'm gonna definitely link Deb's channel down below. And it just had me reflecting on it. So I thought I would come on and have a chat with you because let's be honest, in the real world, nobody cares what I'm thinking about a mini Kelly <laughs> and nobody cares if I'm giving up on getting one of those from the boutique or even considering one because most people in the real world in my life would go, what's a mini Kelly? So I had nobody else to come and talk to you, but talk to you guys. So that's why we're having this conversation today on video all about Mini Kelly and the Hermes store boutique buying experience. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think about the whole Hermes purchasing buying thing. What do you think about it? Tell me in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here and letting me indulge this with you. If you have enjoyed this little rant in any way, please do con consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.